Today we're going to talk about all of our favorite travel toys for airplane travel specifically for babies up to the age of two years old. If you're new here, welcome. We are Steve, Jess, and Briggs, and we have taken so many flights with our little one, and we want to show you today all of the travel toys that we love and recommend. Okay, so we've got this box with the beginner toys. This was usually around the ages, you know, anywhere up to six, sometimes nine months old. And this box that Briggs is <laughs> grabbing from um, is toys that were a little bit more advanced from like that nine months up, um, to all the way to two years old. So we're gonna dive into both of these. <laughs> um, first, we're gonna start with the little infant baby toys. So I'll, I will first say that all this stuff is linked in our Amazon store. If it's not, I'll include the link in the description below. So in those very early months, most of the time babies are just wanting to put things in their mouth at that point. So having teethers is really nice to have, especially ones that make a sound. Um, we also, Briggs, yeah, there you go. That was Briggs' favorite, honestly, his little rattle. It's so fun, right? Um, another one that he loved was this little flower. It had crinkly um, petals. So this one was really fun to also take on flights with us. <laughs> it's kind of fun seeing all your old toys, huh? Here's another rattle that is amazing to have. Another fun thing that we did was bring like stuffed animals for him. Uh, and these were just kind of comfort items from home and they worked really nice on a flight. Now, a little bit more of an advanced stuffed animal is like this rhino. Um, this was really cool to have because it has different things attached to like the feet and the arms of it. Um, it also had some of that crinkly paper. It had some of like, there's a mirror on it. There's a little rattle to shake. So anything that you can find that's very dynamic and has a lot of different features um, is really fun for babies to experiment. It's fun at this age because I feel like you don't need a ton of travel toys because one of these toys like will keep them entertained for a good amount of time, um, especially if they're teething, they're just gonna wanna be um, you know, nine on these. Um, which is really nice because you can pack a little bit lighter on the travel toys at least. Okay, moving on, we've got toys like this, like these little keys that they can kind of um, chew on. Super nice to have, especially if they are teething while you are flying, which is not very fun, but it will and can happen. Okay, speaking of teething, this was by far his favorite teether. I really liked them um, because at the end, you can make sure that they're not gonna put it too far back into their mouths. Um, and then it also came with a cleaner that you can clean inside from all of their spit that inevitably will end up inside of these tubes. Okay, so there's just a section cup bottom to it and you can put it, um, that's not working very well. The suction cup's not working anymore, Briggs. It's too old. Ah, oh no, we've used it too much. Well, it was a great toy while the suction cup lasted. So another cool teething toy are these animal shapes. Um, and they're very flexible material. These make really good teethers for the... This was one of the fun toys that we took on the plane that kept Briggs, Baby Briggs. He's kind of a toddler now, so Baby Briggs very entertained. And it was really fun to have just because he was able to play with all the different shapes and colors, and it does, there is a little bit of a rattle inside of it. Now, with toys like this, I would definitely recommend to get like a toy strap. So like one of these types of things is you can attach it to the toy and then you can also attach it to like their shirt or like the um, airplane tray table or even your shirt. Okay, a little baby toy, which was really fun is just like these types of um, things that can fold in. The black and white colors are really nice, especially for those little infants um, and smaller babies. A porcupine and a bullseye <gasps> and a little bear. Yeah, these are fun too because they can just kind of roll up and easy to pack with you. So this was really fun to pack with Briggs because he loves cars and wheels. But I didn't want to get those little cars when he was a little baby for a choking hazard. So this was a great alternative. Do you remember this one? That was so much fun, huh? Mm -hmm. So we would use it and use it across like the airplane table or even in the airport if you needed to just like burn off some energy. You'd kind of do it on the chairs or the floor. We really liked these finger puppets for the little babies because it was so fun to entertain him with little stories. Um, and they're just small and easy to pack. So it was perfect to just pack these and throw them in the diaper bag. Hi, bunny, frog, puppy dog. Mwah, 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 mwah. 
Next, these suction cup spinners are amazing to have on the airplane windows. The suction cup is actually very strong. So all we did, we would place it on the windows. They only work somewhat decent on the tray tables, I'll say, but on the windows, if you've got a window seat, these are amazing and can hold their attention for a long time. Yeah, do you remember this? So we would stick it to the window and can you spin that? Whoa, that's so cool. Yep, that's a bee. Bzzz. And lastly, we're gonna talk about these busy baby mats. These were really fun for not only the airplane, but I've used them in restaurants, I've used them in hotels, I've even used them at the house. So these are fun because they are multi-purpose. So there are these suction cups right here, and then on the flip side, there are some different loops that you can loop these um, toy straps to, and then you can put teethers or toys on the end of them. And these busy baby mats come in two different sizes. So this is the full size one, and this is just the half size one. Um, and these were really fun for the, that first year just to attach toys to so they weren't being thrown on the airplane floor uh, because nobody wants to pick up toys after they've been on the floor. Um, so these were mats. You could also put like little food puffs in there as well so they have a clean surface to eat off of. Really fun and they were multi-use. Okay, moving on to our next set of toys. These toys are best suited for nine months and up. I will say some of these toys you definitely can use before nine months, but generally I would say nine months to up to 24 months. The first thing on our list are one of these little um, poppers, I'm gonna call them. Briggs, can you show them how to use that? Yeah, it's really fun. It's just one of those little toys that will keep them entertained for a while. I forgot we have one other. Okay, the next one is the sticker book. Um, Briggs absolutely loves stickers. So having one of these is really nice and we can make up stories on the flight um, and these stickers will keep them entertained for a while. Get the car. Here's the car. Okay, where are you gonna put it? Let's turn the page. <gasps> put it right here next to the other car. Okay, moving on. This magnetic tin, you guys need to have, it has been so awesome to have because it opens up and it allows you to have a flat magnetic play surface so you can bring some magnetic toys on the flight. The first set of magnetic toys that we have are these Tegu blocks. Can you open those? Really fun. I like that they come in this little travel package. And I think these magnetic toys kind of entertain my husband and I just as much as they do Briggs. Um, and it allows them to get creative and to build different things. Um, I will say with this magnetic tin, um, you might on the flight have to just kind of hold your finger on it. That way it doesn't slip and slide on the airplane train table. Airplane tray table, sorry. The next magnetic set of toys that we have are inside this little bag. They are the magnetile blocks. Yeah. Wow. So these mag uh, magnetile blocks are really fun. Like I said, I think they keep Steve and I just as much entertained as they do Briggs. Um, but they're very lightweight and they come in a lot of different colors and it allows Briggs to build different shapes and buildings and whatnot um, on this magnetic tin surface. Uh-oh, let's build a tower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a tall tower. Okay, the next item is this book from Educating Amy. It's really fun, it's a quiet book with some interactive pages. It will keep um, them quiet and busy on the flight and it won't disturb any of the other airline guests. Oh, the little birdie. Look at this, there's a little mirror. What is that? <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> this turtle has been really fun for Briggs to play with. Essentially what you're doing is you're just moving these little dots along the shell. Nice work. Moving on to this threading game. Um, you can find these all over the place. I got one from um, a subscription kit, but I also have one from a company called Mini Voyager. They are amazing. They create kits for your kids when you're flying or taking a long car trip, um, and they do a fantastic job. I will link their company below if you're just looking for somebody to put together a package for you. They do a fantastic job. But essentially with these threading games, you're just looking for a piece of string and then a stopper at the end. You can practice threading these. Good job, can you put that one on? Nice work. Speaking of threading toys, there's a lot of different shapes and um, like animals that you can get for these threading toys, but essentially you're just going to have them work on the art of threading. It helps with their 
um, motor development skills, and it will keep them entertained. What I have found though, it is helpful for a parent to like hold on to the main set and then hand the little caterpillar to their little one to have them thread it themselves. Um, if Brace has a hard time holding on to it and also threading at the same time. So just something that I've learned, I think he'll get, as he gets older, it'll be easier to thread it one hand. But for now, I usually just hold on to this and he threads it. You don't want to underestimate the power of these little mini cars. Um, Briggs has a lot of time just running them back and forth, back and forth on the airplane tray table. So we take a couple of it with us because inevitably one will get lost somewhere, whether that be on the plane or the hotel or a restaurant. So we just travel with a couple of these little race cars. Okay, next we're gonna talk about just like small miniature, um, these little play balls that you can bring. Um, these are fun and all, but they will take up some space. So an alternative idea is to just get one of these. Um, they blow up, they're inflatable and they're reusable and really easy to pack. So um, this can be really fun. Obviously for an airplane, probably not ideal, but for an airport, if you're in an empty terminal, oh, if you're in an empty terminal, these could be really fun. Moving on to little animals like these. These are fun to have because you can do make-believe stories on the fly. You can also bring a little bit of painter's tape and take these little animals to the plane table and they can play, you know, search and rescue and have to take the tape off of the animals. Uh, the zebra says, hi, Mr. Giraffe. Hi. These suction cup toys are really fun to have. You can use them for the plane table. You can also use them for the plane window if you happen to be sitting in a window seat very well and they can just take turns putting them on, taking them off. You can also build things on top of them. Can I see this for a second? Oh, whoa. Good job. You can even take them and like build them together by suctioning a cup. There's another one. Should we make another one? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Lego is so much fun to have. We have uh, started taking this on our recent flights as he's gotten older and I know that he won't be eating the Play-Doh. Um, and then just be able to make different shapes and you can tell stories with it. I like these little travel size Play-Doh containers as well so you're not having to take so much with you on the flight. Lastly, to keep all of these things organized and not falling all over the floor, we really like this foldable tray table. It's very small and it folds out. And you'll buckle this underneath the airplane tray table. And then you can kind of store all of the toys in here. So, you know, if there's movement on the flight or anything like that, the toys won't be flying all over. And that wraps up all of the travel toys that we could find. I'm sure there's uh, several more that we've missed, but we could find in our home that we have been using for the past 23 months with Briggs as we fly.